joining us at the start line for the Princess Elizabeth Cup. Junior Men's A, it's Chester, King School Chester on the top of your screen, and Radley College in the red and white on the right hand of your screen. And some real pedigree you're seeing here in this Radley crew. Yeah, it's really exciting, isn't it, from both these crews. You know, King School Chester, I umpired them yesterday. They had a great race against Monton Coon, but they've met a very, very good crew in this Radley 8 um, today. They were led, actually, Radley yesterday by Hampton for both um, parts of the barrier, so both for, to the barrier and to Forley. So they will have had to take their boat all the way, but today they have done the leading. Radley are up now on the King School Chester. And these crews will know each other well, they've raced each other all through the year, and King's School Chester really had it up against them this morning, knowing they were coming to line up against Radley, one of the fastest schoolboy eights this year, in Silver National Schools. They've been very dominant in the past few years. We've seen them at Henley towards the end of the week, for numerous years recently. And, you know, that feeling of lining up against them, knowing the crew that probably might be a little faster than them, what do you do in that situation, Sarah? Oh, it really is the privilege of Henley, actually. You often have, you know, side by side, you often have six lane racing when you know you're not going to be the fastest, piece, but side by side when you're not, you absolutely have to have the mindset of going out, giving it absolutely everything you can and making sure that you stay in touch for for as long as you can. It's King, King School Chester, they broke Monton Coombs yesterday. We saw them push away and push away and push away. And Bradley, they're trying to do that to them now. School Chester, then lovely shot of them rowing down towards us here. Lots of many famous internationals coming from, from their club. Tom James, Chris Bartley, to name a few that I've rowed with. And it's great to see them here. Veronica's Rex, the name on their boat. And as you see the bowman there, Ben Whittlestone. Again, the rowing is high standard. It looks loose, it looks relaxed. As we pan down the boat to see the middle of that crew. This is their regatta. Stick at it, guys. What distance can you keep that to at the finish line? Yeah, really, really important, isn't it? You can see 3.10 there, the time to fall um, and really good around at that point. Um, and they'll still be pushing on and looking to move on. I think we'll have some moments very much stiller than yesterday, so we'll have some slightly slower times because um, we had a tailwind yesterday. But it'll be giving us some great comparison because it really is very... Um, very sort of stable and look here you can see the race um, we're watching in a bit coming down the course this is you know how Henley works you've got two races in the course at the, at the same time this camera is fantastic you can pick up the Radley there having done the work you can see the play work at the start of the race we're going to be watching in a minute the Thames Challenge Cup yeah the moment this early start of the regatta the race is five minutes apart so they're coming at you thick and fast stay with us and we'll bring you all the commentating for the race the entire week i should say today we've got 86 races and we are on to the third race of the day today so you've got a lot to get through 83 more races and we are here really early in the morning and the winner of this race when we get there we'll be meeting the winner of um ship lake saratoka who are racing later on and of course there's a psychological advantage you've got had a bit more rest you know rowing is a sport that hurts Jess isn't it you know you as, no way about it you have to have a different relationship with pain and you come down these um, really long races and being able to recover being able to feel that your legs have had a little bit more um, than someone else can give you a bit of a psychological advantage yeah and if we're all watching certainly here in the UK and in Europe um, for everyone that's watching that's not based here, there's a big football championship going on at the moment. Different teams are playing on different days, and I think that definitely plays into that feeling of extra day of recovery. It's almost like playing a tennis match, having an extra day of recovery as we head up towards the Wimbledon finals. So, yeah, for these guys, they're racing early in the morning. They've got the rest of the day to chill out. Hopefully, don't get distracted, though, here at Henley. So go home, rest up, eat some food. It's a long week. You're on Wednesday. You want to get to that last race on Sunday. Bradley looking calm, Rax taking the rip real low now as they approach this finish line and coming towards us. King School Chester there taking the rate up and keeping that gap as small as possible. Great sprint into the line. Radley across this line, the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. And we'll be going on to the rest of the week. Yeah, great event for that, wasn't it? The Radley crew 
Uh, the power was on, the rate was down. You can see the athletes breathing hard still, trying to look like it cost them nothing if anyone else is watching. It's a win for Radley College and the business of the King's School, Chester.